check the weather. Those of you who have looked out of your window this morning have probably been surprised to see that there is no weather today. This unusual condition is due to a surprise wildcat strike by members of the Weather Bureau Employees Union, Local 30.2 and Falling, and is expected to continue through tomorrow night with the possibility of clearing up by Saturday. Some members, however, have said that they intend to cross the picket line. So our forecast for today and tomorrow is for scattered weather over the greater Hoople area. Well, okay, maybe not quite, but it sure seems that way because there are some weird things going on with the weather around here, around the state, and around the country. Well, not really the weather so much, but the stuff that tells you about it. That's right, the emergency alert system, NOAA weather radio, all sorts of weather-related things are a little bit broken, or at least they were. I started noticing something a little bit strange in the morning of May 16th, 2013. I was a bit sleepy, and I kept hearing this EAS test, you know, the monthly test that uh, most people are annoyed on, TV and radio and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's supposed to be the monthly test of the emergency alert system. And I kept hearing it and kept hearing it and kept hearing it. It was playing every five seconds. It would cut out whatever was on the TV and it would play it. And sometimes in the middle of it, well, check out what happens during this particular sample. Pay attention to what happens when it loops around the second time. It's kind of interesting. And a good memory trick is that the ear and ear regardless is irrelevant. Obviously, somebody broke that one somewhere, but that wasn't the only weather-related thing that broke. Early on the morning of May 21st, 2013, I was a little bit bored, kind of trying to get to sleep and not being very successful. I turned on my scanner, and I went to the local NOAA weather radio station. In this case, it was WXL42, only to discover that none of the stations were reporting. This has happened before, and this is what that sounded like. Here are the 1 a.m. observations for the region. The report from the Piedmont Triad Airport was not available. Elsewhere across the region this hour, the report from Asheville was not available. The report from Boone was not available. The report from Charlotte was not available. The report from Winston-Salem was not available. The report from Raleigh was not available. The report from Wilmington was not available. The current time is 1.57 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is NOAA Weather Radio, all hazard station WXL42, operating on frequency 162.40 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh and is transmitted from an antenna located on the WXI TV tower on Sora Town Mountain in Stokes County. This station serves the northwest Piedmont and northern foothills of North Carolina as well as adjacent Virginia counties. 
Well, that in and of itself wasn't really all that unusual. I've seen this thing break before, but I was curious. I wanted to see if any of the other weather stations I could get in this area did that too. So, I went downstairs and I tuned around the band, and, well, this is what happened. This is NOAA Weather Radio, all hazard station WWF 60, operating on frequency 162.50 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh and is transmitted from an antenna located on Buck Mountain. This station serves the southern Piedmont of North Carolina. Here are the 1 a.m. observations for the western Piedmont. The report from Monroe was not available. The report from Lexington was not available. Elsewhere across the state this hour, the report from Asheville was not available. The report from Charlotte was not available. The report from the Piedmont Triad Airport was not available. The report from Raleigh was not available. The report from Fayetteville was not available. The report from Wilmington was not available. The 2 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time observations. The report from Florence was not available. At Columbia, Orangeburg, Greer, Charleston, Darlington, Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, Raleigh, Charlotte, and Asheville, the weather conditions were not available. This is the NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. KJY 85 broadcasting from the Iredell County Emergency Communications Tower in Morrisville, North Carolina. Operating on a frequency of 162.525 MHz. This transmitter is serving the foothills in southern Piedmont of North Carolina. The current time is 2.28 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. These are the 2 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time observations for the Charlotte Metropolitan Area on Tuesday, May 21st. The report from Charlotte Douglas Airport was not available. The report from Statesville was not available. Elsewhere in North Carolina, in South Carolina, once again at 2 a.m. This is No Weather Radio, All Hazards, WXL60, broadcasting from the National Weather Service office in Blacksburg, Virginia, and transmitting on a frequency of 162.475 MHz from an antenna, located on the WVPF National Public Radio Tower on Poor Mountain, two miles northwest of Bend Mountain, Virginia, in Roanoke County. Here are the 2 a.m. observations from around the area. Elsewhere across Virginia, in West Virginia, and in Tennessee, Bristol was 62 with fog. Here are the 2 a.m. observations for the Northeast Piedmont. The report from the Raleigh Dorm Airport was not available. The report from Burlington was not available. Elsewhere across the state this hour, the report from Asheville was not available. The report from Charlotte was not available. The report from Greensboro was not available. The report from Wilmington was not available. At Cape Hatteras, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. This is NOAA Weather Radio, All Hazard Station WXL58, operating on frequency 162.55 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh, and is transmitted from an antenna located on the UNC TV Tower near Chapel Hill. This station serves the Northeast Piedmont of North Carolina. Yeah, well, okay, that last one's been broken for weeks. At least the audio has been. It was supposed to go down for maintenance and get fixed, and that never happened, so it's weather on a carbon phone. Oh boy, isn't that awesome. Well, I wanted to see if this was regional, because that was kind of interesting that out of, what, North South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia, only two weather stations actually reported. One of them was Cape Hatteras, and the other one was Bristol, Tennessee. And I wanted to see if this was regional, so I went to globaltuners.com and logged on to a couple of the receivers and tuned around there. And guess what? The 2 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Regional Weather Observations for Western Colorado and Eastern Utah. Elsewhere across Western Colorado, across Eastern Utah, once again, at 2 a.m. The current time is 2.31 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Thanks for listening to NOAA Weather Radio WXM55 in Grand Junction, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz, and originating from the National Weather Service office in Grand Junction, Colorado. This is NOAA Weather Radio, all hazards, station WXK67, the voice of the National Weather Service, serving South Central Texas, originating from the Austin San Antonio National Weather Service forecast office.
The current time is 3.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The San Antonio, NOAA Weather Radio Roundup. At 3 a.m. the report from San Antonio was not available. The report from Austin Bergstrom Airport was not available. The report from Bernie Stage was not available. The report from Pleasanton was not available. The report from Corpus Christi was not available. The report from Brownsville was not available. The report from Houston was not available. The report from Dallas-Fort Worth was not available. The report from San Angelo was not available. The report from Laredo was not available. The report from Amarillo was not available. The current time is 1.56 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. The 1 a.m. observations, the report from Tucson International Airport was not available. Here are some observations from around Arizona. At Safford, it was clear, with a temperature of 64. And there you go. I guess I caught things during a maintenance period. It was fixed about an hour later. Now, I'm kind of curious about something. That Texas thing where it was, you know, is not available, this thing is not available, and that thing is not available. I wonder what would happen if I lined all those things up. The report from Texas was not available. Yeah, that pretty well sums up the situation. Take a ride to a cool, cool spot Cause the weather in a word or two is too darn hot Well, maybe the equipment that tells you about it is too darn hot. Whatever. Anyway, that's been the Broken Weather Report. Until next time when more things are broken, I'm out of here. Yeah, sure. Here is a public information statement from the National Weather Service. WXL 42, located in Greensboro, serving northwest North Carolina and adjacent Virginia counties on 162.400 MHz, is off the air until further notice. Technicians have been notified. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause.